there comes a point where you want to post some code into a comment, either to help people out or because you want to share something. And WordPress is uh, rather clever in that respect that for security reasons, it strips those tags out. Let me demonstrate what I mean by that. And let me also show you how you can get around that and make the code show up. So say you're posting a comment. Some text goes here. And in your comment, there's some code. Okay, just for demonstration purposes only. For those of you who are not HTML savvy, all this code does is it puts the word hello and a smiley face into the center of your post. That is all. But if I were to post this comment, then all I get to show up is the two plain text statements and the word hello with the smiley face. It's not quite what I wanted because I wanted to demonstrate this piece of code in my comment. How do we get around that? Well, First of all, we'll go into the comments section and go into comments, and there it is. This is how it shows up. So it's the same in the front end and the back end. However, if I go to quick edit here quickly, I will see that my code has actually been posted. It's just that WordPress, when it gives it to the browser, strips it out, as I said, for security reasons. The way around it is if we tell the browser not to print code and execute it, we will tell the browser to print individual characters that are not code, and hence they won't be executed, and hence they can show up without there being a security risk. How do we do that? Let's copy everything that is code and that we want to show up as code. Copy that. And just as a workaround, let me go to posts and open a new post. I'll do this in a new tab so I don't destroy my comment view here. Go up here, this is your new post, and in the text box here, make sure you select the visual editor. I will paste what I've just copied, which is my code. Now it shows up all right here, and if I were to publish this post, WordPress would show this as well. And the reason for that is that the visual editor actually transcodes these characters into HTML characters. And if you go to the HTML view, you can actually see what it's done here. So instead of printing the code that I've just copied, it's turned this character into ampersand LT semicolon, which if you tell that to the browser, he will actually print this first open bracket here. Okay. And the same thing is happening at the back. Ampersand GT semicolon means to the browser to print this. Okay, so now all we need to do is we copy whatever the HTML view has made out of our code. Copy that. Go back to the comments thing. Replace the original code with those characters, which looks a bit cryptic, granted. But if I update that comment now, I can see that my code is actually displayed the way I wanted it. And the very same happens on my front page. If I refresh that page, there we go the code shows up. One thing that I always do is to make the code distinguishable from the actual plain text is that I use the WordPress code function. So again, you can do this from quick edit. You mark the block of text you want to show up differently. And then you go up here and click the code button. All that does is it places a code opening and a code closing tag before and after your code block. If you do that, you'll see that the actual code block is now showing up in pre-formatted text, uh, both in the back end and in the front end. And that just makes it a little bit easier for people to read what is code and what is a comment. I hope this helps. You can do this from the back end, but you can also do this from the front end. If I just demonstrate this, this is my piece of code here. And if I put something in the front, I can post that. And there we go. This is what I've just left from the front end here. And you can do exactly the same if you wanted to open and close this with the code tag. You just do that and do that. And if you post that, this will now show up as pre-formatted text. Okay, it's a little bit cumbersome and it takes a little bit of time to get used to, but at least now you know how you can make code show up in your comments.